I'm a huge fan of folding bikes and compact bikes that I can stick in the 170 here and take places and hop out and go riding. So today I'm going to review the Jackrabbit electric bike. It lifts out of the packaging pretty much just like this and then there's only a few things that we need to do to get it ready to ride. Let's take a look. We want to rotate the front wheel so it's facing forward and they've designed this so it has a lot of nice little plus push buttons so you know exactly where to push to do things. We've got a handy dandy kickstand here so it's down. Now I'm going to fold these foot pedals down. We want to make sure that the tire pressure is properly inflated. It's a minimum of 40 psi and they say a max of 65 psi. Then we also want to check and make sure our battery is fully charged and actually plugs in right underneath the bike here. Okay, the battery is on top on the handlebar on the right side. Just push the button and you'll be able to see that uh, this one already has a full charge. And I have already adjusted my seat height, but they have a hinge here just like regular bike. So you can go up and down. And so you should be able to sit with your feet flat on the ground. And the neat thing is the Jackrabbit e-bike, you actually use a lot like a balance bike. So there we go. That's it. We are ready to ride. So my husband removed the back seat of our airplane and now the Jackrabbit e-bike fits in there super well. It was really easy to, to load. It's only 24 pounds. Uh, we have a, a cavernous area in the back with that rear seat removed. Anyway, I'm going to go flying over to Green County Airport and there's a bike path uh, right by there and I'm going to test it out. So I actually learned about that bike path from an AOPA member, Bruce Bream. He tipped me off a few years ago to his website called Flyin' Bike. And so I just, I went there, I looked up bike paths in Ohio, and then I used ForeFlight to kind of map out and pick the different airports around and saw this one was nearby and had a, a bike path. Actually, down a steep hill from the airport apparently, so it's gonna be a nice test to uh, see how this bike comes back up, because I don't wanna push it back up. <laughs> Um, so we're going to head over there today. It's a beautiful, calm, calm wind day. It's going to be about a 45 minute flight in the 170. So just a perfect day for getting out and enjoying some aviation and, and biking. Let's go. So I made it here to the Green County Airport, got the bike out and getting ready to go go check out the trails. Actually a really busy day here at uh, Green County Airport, lots of aircraft going in and out. So pretty cool place to fly and go bike. So the Jackrabbit features 20 inch tires and they have thick treads. So it offers a really smooth ride. Now I tried it out on concrete, asphalt, grass and small gravel and I could feel the large bumps as I'd expect on any bike, but I really couldn't feel every crack and pedal like I do with other folding bikes. If you've got an aircraft where you can remove the back seat, like I have the 170, if you had uh, fold down seats from the side, um, anything so you can have a big baggage area is a good idea because even folded up, it's not gonna go, it's not gonna go on a 172, 182, but you're gonna need a pretty big baggage area just under three feet uh, tall and about 44 inches long when the front wheel is folded in. And I'll drop the exact dimensions down in the description for you. That way you can measure your own baggage area to see if it'll fit or not. Great little bike. It costs uh, $999.99. Um, and you can find that at uh, the Jackrabbit website. We'll have a link for that down below as well. So, I am about a half a mile from the airport and the battery is dead. So a couple things I've noticed, uh, Jack Rabbit, they say, you know, pulse the bike. Um, so because the bike path was further from the uh, airport than I realized, 
I, uh, I was running it pretty constant, so that probably ran the battery down a little faster. You ride the Jackrabbit like a balance bike. There are no pedals, so when the battery's out, you, your uh, foot power is walking power. And I'll be doing that uh, here for the next half mile back to the airport. So behind me here is actually the, uh, the steep access hill <laughs> from the airport that I was hoping to test the e-bike uh, on going up. But have the, the dead battery, so I'm gonna hoof it up. But hey, uh, I probably did about five, this would have been five miles round trip, five to six miles, the airport bike path and back. Still a lot of fun and a great, great bike to have out at the airport. Well, the little bike and I, we made it one back in one piece. I, uh, I don't think I've ever been so happy to, uh, <laughs> to be back to the airplane.